Hello everyone. If you are here, it means you have problems with your printer. I will try to help you to solve them. So most common issue with this printer, it stops calibrating and it will skip labels or print in a wrong place as you see on these labels. So first of all, of course you need to set up correct label size in a settings or printing preferences and run calibration. So calibration, you press feed button and keep it pressed until it blinks twice. One, two. So as you see, process A is not ending. It should feed two or three me labels and stop on a gap. Now it stopped in the middle. So it means calibration is not working. What the problem? First of all, what you need to check is a gap lane in sensor. So it's here. The most common problem, this sensor, is pushed deep in into printer itself and it simply wobbles inside and the signal from the top uh, sensor not reaching bottom sensor. So this one is simplest issue if you don't see sensor here. Sensors has two flavors. So one has black cover on top of it which fits exactly into window another one is a small one without cover and cover is separately glued to a printer so you may see this cover but sensor itself fell into printer because this plastic ring which keeps sensor in place simply cracks and falls out. I don't know the reason, maybe it's because of heat, because the head is uh, heating and maybe because of that or because of age. So this one is issue number one. Just check that this sensor is in place. If it is, then issue may be a little bit more complicated. So here is cable running from feed button to motherboard which in this place it bends and because of movement of head over the time it simply breaks. It looks a bit strange because what sensor has does with calibration but it is like cable does with calibration but it is what it is. It's a culprit and you need to change this cable. First of all, we will check it and we'll see is it true or not. Before disassembling printer, I decided to show you one more possible problem, which is very rare that sensor itself failed. This happens really, really rare. To check it, you need to run manual calibration and send and printer should print a sensor profile. So we keep feed button pressed until seven blinks.
So as you see, here is a gap. It means that sensor is sensing the gap and everything is okay. So we exclude problem of sensor itself. It is very easy to disassemble printer. Just huge screws, you undo them. Need to be careful not to tear the cables. This one from sensor simply pull it out and from motherboard you need to loose the fitting and then pull it out. So it comes the sensor and here is printer from feed button. I try to scan the all threads with multimeter and in this case I got all threads working but problem is that here depending on how door is closed or open it just sim small tiny break and sometimes it touches sim con it has contact sometimes not so sometimes it was calibrating sometimes not so even so it's a good idea to check but I will change this cable now and we will see the results. Most likely still it is this cable. Undo the screw. To remove the cable, first of all we disconnect the cable from simply to loosen these wires to make it easier to walk in this corner. So pay attention how cable should be twisted. Naked wires up so problems happens somewhere in this region
until the sprinting head is taken off, use possibility to clean this place. It's not just spring, it's a ground which passes from ground from this to head. If this contact is oxidated, so then it can be problem sometimes with printing. It looks print faded in some places. So simply clean it is alcohol. Pay attention that the open cables going down side. So be careful when, when connecting, because very easy to connect other way around. So check old cable. I just made a mistake and connected uh, or positive. So these contacts were sitting like that. So they're going inside. Okay. I hope you see. So we see blue on top, it goes in. And here, contacts upside. Let's see what happens now. One, one, two. As you see, two labels and it's calibrated correctly. As it should be. So it was quite simple trick but it worked cable you can buy on ebay i will put link underneath my video thank you for watching bye bye